my name is Kelty O'Connor and welcome to my channel. I'm doing a series called Finding Your Sweat which showcases different types of sports, workouts and fitness trends you can do and I take it behind the scenes so you get a little insider knowledge of what you can expect in any of those different disciplines. Today is a very, very, very highly requested one, Orange Theory Fitness. Now fun fact, we're gonna rewind a little bit in Kelty O'Connor's life. If you didn't know, I played university basketball while I was going to school for sciences. After that, I went to school for marketing. While I was in the middle of my marketing degree, I I actually got a job with Orange Theory Fitness and I was the general manager of two of them. So I handled that. I had no idea what I was doing. It was a brand new startup, but it was really cool. It was and then of course I went off to finish my degree and then got into the whole sports model, YouTube, Instagram world shortly after. I was like, Orange Theory's got a little place in my heart. Some people love it, people don't. We're gonna dive into all that. And, I'm and actually, this is really cool. It's a special event. Really cool, wow, Kelty, just so enthusiastic. I got distracted by the ball. If you guys didn't know, I just moved to Toronto, and in Toronto there's always so many fun fitness and sporting events going on. They invited me to the owner, founder of Orange Theory Fitness is here in Toronto. They have this special VIP workout meet and greet signing that I'm about to go to. I don't really know what to expect, but I'm taking you guys with me, so I'll show you the whole event, I'll show you the workout, we'll walk you through it, and so if you've ever wondered, hey, when I sign up for Orange Theory Fitness class, what is actually gonna happen? You're about to find out. Let's go. Go in the hoop is backwards, oh, oh god. Yes! Made it! The other one was like a weird angle and excuses, let's go work out. Orange Theory Fitness here in Toronto and we're gonna go through a quick orientation which they'll bring you through on your first workout as well but Victoria is the head trainer I am the head trainer. Head trainer so this is Victoria. Hi guys welcome to our studio. So tell us a little bit about the location here in Toronto. Aura Young and Eglinton. It's an amazing workout if you don't know anything about it it's a high intensity interval training workout. She's gonna get her butt kicked it's gonna be an awesome day. So let's take you through your orientation. Inside of the studio here you have three different stations. You have your treadmills, your rowers and then your personal training stations on this end of the room. So you have everything you need here. You have your adjustable bench, you have your ab dolly and bosu ball, as well as TRX straps, and all of the weight racks go lightest at the top and then heaviest at the bottom. We also have an extra rack of heavy weights that goes all the way up to 60 pounds. Look up to that screen up there. That's our visual aid screen, okay? The entire workout is gonna be playing on that screen during the 60 minutes. However, I'm also gonna be demonstrating each of the exercises. I'll be giving an option exercise for any restrictions, injuries, anything in the room, as well recommending your weight. Yeah, giving you all that info that you need. But remember, we'll be playing on that screen as well. And then come on this way, follow me towards our treadmills. All right, so this is our OTB screen, okay? This is where all the magic happens. When everybody comes into class, all of your heart rate monitors are gonna be posted up on there, and you each get your own individual little square with your name on it, a okay? five zone high intensity interval training program. So you're gonna be working mostly in the last three zones, the green, orange, and red zones. So our base push is what, rec is what represents the green zone, our push is the orange, and then you might dip into the red, and all your coach is gonna ask is for a thumbs up up in the air just saying coach I feel fine we're good to keep going okay so we're always checking in to make sure that you're training at your potential but as well keeping it safe on the top of the treadmill you're gonna see this cue card okay this is your guide for day one especially your coach is gonna use three words to guide you through your workout base push and all out we give guidelines for speed as well as incline for all three of our options here. However, the important thing is when I say 60 seconds base pace, whatever speed you choose, you should feel like it's challenging but doable. It'd be a little different for everybody to achieve the feeling of challenging but doable. Now when I cue you for a push pace, 60 seconds, push pace, you're gonna increase whatever your base speed is, one to two miles per hour. This is a pace that should turn your square orange and this should feel uncomfortable. Your all out pace, this is our final pace. You wanna think of this as a full on sprint, emptying your tank, okay? So give it everything you've got. The only thing is for power walkers, their speed is gonna stay the same. However, their challenge is the incline. Does that all make sense? 
Yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. Few rules uh, on our treadmills here. Only a couple, but they're very important. Absolutely no hopping the railings. Let that track come to a complete stop. Tie your hair, tie your shoelace, whatever you gotta do, and then get back to this. There's to be no hands on the hand railings. That's gonna reduce your workout by 30%. You need to chat with me. I want you to keep your eyes forward. Put your hands up in the air. I'm gonna come up behind you just like you are to me <laughs> right now. And we're gonna chit chat through the mirror, okay? Because when your eyes are forward, that's a lot safer. Lastly, we're gonna go through the treadmill functions. Speed is on the right hand side, says it right at the bottom. Incline is on the left hand side. Now these are quick touch, so as soon as you touch it, it's gonna move up to that speed. We have our fan settings in the center. We have our start button and our stop button, unless that safety key is in there, so don't forget to pop that in. Good. And now we're moving. All right, we got one last station that I'm gonna take you through. So when you sit down, you wanna make sure that you're putting both feet into the straps before you pull. It's a universal strap, so you don't wanna lock yourself out. Pull it tight and it should sit across the widest part of your foot. Press the most left button on the monitor, that's the on button. From there, grab your handles at the widest part, palms facing down and sit up tall. Come in for your orientation, your coach is gonna demonstrate the rower. Rowing is a three part movement. You're gonna drive with your legs, you lean back with your core, and then you finish with the arms. On the way forward, it goes arms, the core, and then the legs return. Together, it's legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs. And then you've just done your first row. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go do this. Yeah, let's do it. Is this gonna pull? Incline, I'm gonna tell you where you gotta be. On the rowers, we're gonna get as hard as we can, we're gonna get yourselves all warmed up. Our job is to make sure you get a great workout here. You gotta try the rower, treadmill. We gotta rower, treadmill. 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 Just follow me here. I like to face this way so you can roll kind of at the same leg back. First leg is in lunge. Make sure your feet are facing forward. One is not. I am back at home. It's a lot darker out, hence weird lighting now. And I thought I'd kind of cap up on the Orange Theory Fitness. So if you couldn't tell by the format, how the format usually works is half the people will be doing a bit more of a strength training component and the other half will be doing a running. So usually you'll be alternating between the rower and the resistance training, so the different circuits, or you'll just be doing a cardio treadmill workout. The cardio treadmill workout will be just different changes between pushes, pacing, so it's pretty much between walking, jogging, a bit faster jogging, and sprinting, or if you're someone who's doing the walking, you're gonna be at the same speed, but you're just gonna be changing the inclines. And then if you are on the floor, like I said, in resistance training, you're usually gonna do blocks, as you saw, so you might do five different exercises, and they'll tell you how many reps you have to do and how many times you have to run through each of those, and then you'll hop on the rower in between, they might give you a certain amount of time you do it, and alternate. And then depending on the Orange Theory Fitness, correct me if I'm wrong, but sometimes you'll alternate between the rower and the treadmill, and then, but usually it's between the rower and resistance training, 
on the floor and then the treadmill separate. So who this workout would be for is it really is for anyone. Uh, I find it's really great for beginners who want to get into resistance training, want a personal trainer, but can't really afford one. The, the nice thing is this trainer is on the floor with you. You're not going to get as much one-on-one -on -one attention as a personal trainer and not quite as one-on-one -on -one attention as something like an F45. I found I got a bit more, but this is still really good. It's nice that you get all the components of a workout. You get the cardio and you get the resistance training, weight training all in one. So if you're someone who doesn't want to have multiple different group classes, it's good for that. I don't personally think this is for high performance athletes. Now, a high performance athlete can get a good workout here. Like it's all is as much as you put into it. Like I said, I just find if you're someone who's training for the NBA or Olympics that you have to be a lot more sports performance specific. And this is just kind of more general, improved, anaerobic, aerobic, muscle mass, all that kind of stuff. A high performance athlete can get a good workout. It's just not if you're like, oh, I'm a high performance athlete. Should I train here? No. Some tips. It is going to be a sweaty workout. You are sprinting. You're running. Wear sweat resistance clothing. So that's going to be, you know, Lululemon. I love uh, Wonder Under Leggings, as you saw I was wearing. Energy Bra and Nike Pro. You want a good pair of runners. And in terms of runners, I would recommend something like a Nike Free. You want something that you can run on a treadmill with instead of having something that's like just strictly for strength training. Some other tricks about Orange Theory Fitness. You have to register ahead of time. So that's typically how the memberships work is that you buy either an unlimited month pass or you buy like one time a week. So it's like four classes in a month or you eight classes or you can just do punch passes so you like buy 10 and you register ahead of time. They have an app that shows all of your performance and how many calories you burn, what zones you're in. It has all that. It is a franchise so everyone is a little bit different. Uh, so the grand opening was really cool. I got to meet the girl who created the idea behind Orange Theory Fitness. I've got to meet a few of the owners, a lot of their biggest trainers and it was a good workout and I got to meet a bunch of other fitness influencers and people in the city in Toronto which is always fun. If you guys have any other questions about the Orange Theory Fitness workout, comment below. I'd be happy to answer answer them. They usually offer one free class so you can go just see if it's for you. That's kind of it and so I've got a lot of other workouts coming your guys' way. I've been doing a ton here in Toronto. I'm really excited to bring you guys through them. I got some lookbooks coming up, some legging hauls. We got some different sporting events we're going to so if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe. I will see you guys next week or in a couple days. I usually upload every Wednesday and most Fridays so see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.